Hello, hello, welcome. This is my completed pages for the month of June 2023. So I completed about nine or ten pages, but whips I did a whole bunch. So I'm going to show some of the whips and then I will do my completed pages for the month. So last month I started this page. Um, this is the world of Rick St. Dennis. Again, this is an older book, so 2015, so way older. I've been shopping through my older books and kind of working in those lately instead of buying a whole bunch of new ones. Um, and I had the plan to bedazzle some elephants in this book. So last time they were just colored. I hadn't got anything bedazzled yet. They're still not quite done, but I thought it would be nice to kind of show you what I'm talking about. So these are my bedazzle fins. Um, the actual name of this page is Burlesque Fence Backstage. So I used a combination of things on these. Um, the dollar store has little sequins and whatnot that you can buy in different varieties and sizes. So I used some of these cut apart into strips. And um, I also have some of these. So I got my daughter some of the diamond painting kits for Christmas and she didn't really use a whole lot of them. And she had a lot of beads left over. So I used a few of those. They have some of the, let's see if I can show you real quick, tiny, tiny ones, which I couldn't find at Dollar Tree, which is nice. And then they also had some shaped ones. So I don't know if I have any of the shaped ones in here, but these little teardrop shaped ones and these little yellow ones here and these pink ones, those were all out of the diamond painting set. So yeah, it was a fun project. It definitely takes a while, especially if you get the non-adhesive ones that you have to glue down yourself, to whereas these come already sticky. So lesson learned there. I think I prefer the already sticky a little bit more. Um, so lots of time and lots of patience, but it was fun. I do like it. I plan on continuing it. I just ran out of time for the month. This was probably a good couple hours alone right here. Um, each one of these jewels is separate. So I stuck them on one by one. <laughs> but yeah, so thank you to everyone who was so excited to see those. That made me um, super excited and happy to see. Next, I have a long-term whip. So I decided I was going to try to pull one of my older ones and finish it, and it still didn't happen. Um, I think what happened with this book is I put all my supplies away, and I've just been kind of dreading the actual sitting down and finding what I used. I threw something on the floor. This is not the page. Sorry. Just trying to see what I dropped. Uh, this one. So these are the flare glitter gel pens here on his scales. So they're very shiny. This is the gold paint pen that I love so much. And then I did add some of the dragonfly glaze. So it's like glittery acrylic paint. If you haven't heard of it, that changes color. It is a little tricky to show on camera, and it doesn't really show up too well in pictures, so it's mainly for your own um, satisfaction. But I do like it. It is fun. I like to use it on, like, fairy wings and things. But because he was so shiny, I felt like he could use some in his life. So I can't really get it to show the rainbow effect it has oh, a little bit. But yes, that is Dragonfly Glaze. And so there is my rainbow dragon. Um, I do like this book. I need to work more in this book, but I really want to finish this before I start too many pages in here. Otherwise, I end up with books like this next one. So that was Francis Gautier Dimensions, by the way. This one is Immortal Ink by Francis Gautier, but it also has Tanya Maya, Maya L. Rose, who is a tattoo artist. So double there. But I started this one with just watercolor. Didn't make plan for the turtles. Probably should have done a water background, like a blue and green, but at the time I was thinking like Polynesian, Hawaiian, tropical kind of feel, so I went this route. I do like the Crayola pastel watercolors, but so it became a whip. Um, I also started these for Mermaid, didn't finish. I don't know why, they, there's not, they were off to a good start, I just didn't get back to them. And then I also was going to do a tutorial on this hair and didn't get that far either. So that's why I try not to start more than one at a time in a book because then I have a whip book. 
So this one I used as a little bit of a tester page. This is Let Freedom Ring by Hannah Gooding, illustrated by Kimma Parrish. I found this at Walmart. It is on Amazon, but it was like $16, and I did not pay that for it. So this is the page I did, Raising Up Little Firecrackers. This page was super cute, and I do have kiddos, so I felt like it was fitting um, for the season. My only regret, sorry, I'm trying to fix the light here. It's driving me crazy. Um, is that I used Crayola, no, not Crayola. Sorry, Crayola. Crazy Art glitter markers. These glitter markers are very shiny. They are, they do glitter like they state. However, the applying of these markers is awful. Like, they dry out very quickly. So then when you go to, um, try to get more out like you dot it it comes out in a giant puddle no matter how gently you do it and then on top of that they take forever and a half to dry sorry still fighting with the light here trying to put it back now showing all my glitter on these pages here um so they take forever and a half to dry so then I started smearing things and then it was smearing onto the back of this page and it wasn't my favorite. Um, I still might come back and play with it a little bit more. I don't know what I want to do for a background because I feel like I come in and fill all that in with black. It's going to take me all the way to the 4th of July to do. But we'll see how it goes. But it was a fun tester page. Lesson learned on the Crayola. Or the Crazy Art. Oh my goodness, i got to quit throwing Crayola under the bus. Crazy Art markers. So that's Let Freedom Ring. I'm just going to make a pile over here so I don't bump the camera. This is Fantastic Floral Reese by Jessica Mazurkiewicz. And again, I was going to try to do a 4th of July page here. Sorry about that. So, uh, I was going to try to finish this page for the 4th of July, and it did not happen. Well, it didn't happen before the end of June. I'm still going to work on it. It'll probably be my project for later this evening, but... I didn't tap my pages. I don't have my life together this month. I didn't get this video up on time. I didn't get my desk cleaned off. I didn't get my old books put away and new ones pulled. Nothing. Anyway, here we are with my red and blue kind of patriotic flower wreath I'm going to do here. This book was in a, originally going to be my finish in a year book. And then I broke my foot and got really far behind. And I realized I like it better without the rush. My pages are a lot better. Um, they're not, you know, so rushed and thrown together. So I'm kind of just working through it. The pages I want to do when I want to do them. And this one just felt like it would be perfect to do for the 4th of July. So I feel like I'm going to be a lot happier with this book when it's done, even if it does take way longer than I planned. So yeah, there are my patriotic flowers. Again, Prismacolor went in and did my light green first because there was so many like leaves and things I was lost. But you can kind of see what the rest of the page should look like when I get it done. And there's the first one I did back in, I think, January. I don't remember. I don't even think I dated it. I'm slacking all over. But yeah. So they do turn out a lot nicer when you don't have to try to rush them and get two or three done a month. Next, I have R.J. Hampson, Moonlight Mischief. Now, in this book is my favorite page that he's drawn so far, and it's special to me because I feel like it fits Wyoming perfect. So I live next to Yellowstone National Park, about an hour away, so we have all the critters. I'm also in the Rocky Mountains, so we have all the critters. Um, so I started this page. Now, Kate over at Kate's Coloring Heaven, Haven, has also started this page, so she's doing a color along. So if you want to join her, she does fantastic work, and I'm excited to see her page. But I already tackled mine when she started, so here is mine so far. I do like the black feel around the edge, and I did that just to kind of make it look like it's dark, you know, around the outside there. I did black bears because that's what we have here, and I also kind of felt like it was going to be a lot of brown. And I also kind of thought a lot of people would go brown bears because black can sometimes be scary to color. So we have moose, we have bears, we have foxes, we have mice, we have skunks, bunnies, owls, we have all the things. And so I just, I felt like if I were to go camping in the mountains 
for the 4th of July. This would be me with my marshmallow that I love to have absolutely burnt. That is thunder in the background. I apologize. I cannot turn that down. Um, and these are all the little critters in the woods watching me. So this page is special to me. I'm really happy with how it's coming out. Hopefully I can get it finished for summer and you will see it in the next completed pages or if you follow me on any social medias. But yes, check out Kate's. I'm sure hers will be fantastic as well. So RJ Hampson, Moonlight Mischief. Next, because I am shopping in my book collection, back in the older books that got me started into coloring, this is Garden of Joy Tooth, Bean Design. Now, I bought this book in 2021. I know this book is older than that, but there's no copyright or artist information or anything in here. So, um, it is still on Amazon, but uh, that's all I can tell you. So, here is my page. I realized halfway through that I picked the cover image. And they did a very nice pastel delicate type and here I am with my in your face bright vibrant sunshine shining down on this baby but I really like how it came out very happy with it this paper wasn't half bad to work with Prismacolors on either um, again with my gold paint pen you will see a lot of that because I love my paint pen but yeah very happy with this one I do need to add some kind of border to hide all my smears I got some blue smeared up here and other than that, yeah, very happy with how this turned out. Very cute page. And there are a lot of cute pages in here. Um, I'm pretty sure that's the page I had my eye on when I bought the book. And then there for a while I was buying books and they were coming in so fast some got put away without being touched. So that is my goal for the rest of the year now. I'm still going to buy books here and there. But I've slowed my roll a little and I'm going to try to go shopping on my own bookshelf and tackle some of them books that need some love. Again, I apologize for the giant thunderstorm in the background. We have had thunderstorms. We have had seven inch hail balls. We have had tornadoes every day for the past couple weeks. Um, like every day, just about. The tornadoes have been fairly close, which makes me nervous because we don't usually get tornadoes. So I do apologize for the weather. Um, so I guess I should tell you what book we are in. This is Mythographic Menagerie. This is Mythographic of the Month Club for June. If you are interested in joining in for July, we are doing Deep Blue. We are going to tackle the saloon page. Um, maybe. I did hesitate buying this book for a while. This one I want to do a background on. Anyway, I thought it was intimidating, but now that I got it and I looked at it, I'm very excited to tackle some more in it. Um, unfortunately, I can only do about one mythographic of a month because I am so slow. So I am getting one a month done, but I, there's so many others I want to do. I want to do like three a month, but <laughs> I'm so slow. So, um, again, Prismacolors, four part series. There's that gold paint pen I told you you would see again. I just love how bright and shiny it is. Again, if you use the same one as me, I use the Deco... Deco Color Premium. This is oil based and it has a strong odor. Um, oil based means it will leave oil marks on the back of your page. And I did put fairly a lot down, but so be aware of that. It didn't go through to this page. I didn't use a blotter page, but it did. So be aware of that. But I still enjoy it. Um, I know people, not everyone loves the really strong odor, but so yeah. Um, if you are interested in any part of this, it is up. If you need help finding anything, let me know. And I hope to see you join in on July's. I am excited for that one. So there is Menagerie. Um, these are actually whips that I forgot to show in the beginning. These are my Lena Green whips. I have shown them before. I finally got a little further on this one. I got his hair put in, her shirt put in, her skin put in. These down here look funny, I know, but they'll be, the yellow will be hidden. I was going to do gold first, and the more I got that gold on there, I was like, this does not match her shirt at all. And so I decided to go blue, so I'm in the process of fixing that. So there's a little yellow on this one left, but hopefully if I do it right, by the time I get all the colors in and everything blended up like this first rope I did here, you'll never know. So it'll be our little secret. Um, I think this has taken me so long because I did both of these pages at the same time. I did all these flowers at the same time, and I got a little bit of burnout. So now they're kind of taking me a little longer to finish. Oh, sorry for the bump. I was trying to put them away. 
because if I don't set them up, they're going to get bent. So this is also Lena Green, but this is her book. So those I bought off Etsy. That is not in this book. I bought those off Etsy. But this is her Green Portress. It's her first ever book she's put out, and I'm so excited. So I had a buddy offered a buddy color with me, and I was like, yes, I'm going to tackle this book. I'm not going to be afraid of it. I am not going to put it on my shelf empty. So here we are. This is Daisy Daisy, number four. Prismacolor pencils, um, Mongo pastels in the corner, just to try to bring a little blue from the flowers into other parts of the page. Her skin is alcohol marker with eyeshadow over it. Um, the eyeshadow was because I made a mistake, and she had some shadowing around this eye here. And if I bring it in, you can see it. I'll tell you, I'll show you my the part I messed up. Um, she had some shading around that eye, and without thinking about it, when I was shadowing my other areas, I hit it with that dark marker. And when I was all said and done, she had a black eye. So I came in with some light eyeshadow, gave her some blush, some little bit of coloration, brightened up her forehead, and smoothed things out, mostly in an attempt to hide that black eye. I was going to be super sad if I ruined my favorite artist's first book, my $20 Lena Green book, on the first image with a black eye. So pulled out all the stops, and I think it looks fairly good. So there are my daisies up close. This one does have a pencil. I dropped a pencil on it. Of course, going great, doing great, loving it, dropped a pencil on it. I did outline them with white gel pen because I didn't like the look of a white daisy with a black outline. So yeah, there is my daisy page. So thank you to my buddy color for helping me tackle that book and getting over that fear. This is a color along on my channel as well. This is Gnome Sweet Gnome by Teresa Goodridge. This was a requested page, so it was done in the Color Macron 50 Pastel Pencil Set. I struggled. So the 50 set doesn't have a whole lot for purples or browns, so I did have to pull a couple Prismacolor. Um, I did leave the pastel palette a little to enhance some of the features because I was struggling sticking with the set. Um, I did copy this one because I personally am going to redo it in my book in the colors that I wanted, which were sort of pastel but not to this extreme. Um, I really like how my sprinkle box came out though. So if you are interested in this color along or if you just want to see how the pencils work, this is also up, ready to go for you to see. Um, I am still working on requested videos, so I have two Teresa Goodridge this month to get through. So if you requested summer scenes or, um, oh, the safari page out of Wish You Were Here, those will be coming up this month. So get your pages ready. This is from Amka Arts. This was an event in Lost and Coloring Worldwide. She's doing um, where she has artists give away pages and you get a month or so to color them and then they pick a winner. Um, I did it purely to support the artists. Um, I wanted to do more, but I only got one in. But I'm very happy with how it turned out. This originally was going to be a rainbow butterfly, but it just didn't happen. So still happy with it. I think he contrasts nice. It's called Butterfly and Roses. He does have an empty or she. I'm not sure which, I'm sorry, but um she does have they have an Etsy shop if you are interested. Mka Arts on Etsy, Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff. So there is that. Butterfly. 50 diminutive seaside scenes. So I am a seaside girl. I love beach scenes. Um they are my thing, my jam. So I wanted to tackle one in this book, but I wanted to do it a little different. Tackled it all in alcohol marker, took a picture, and then I went back with pencil so I could see the difference of the pencil and the alcohol marker. I will post my picture up here, the side by side, so you can see the difference a little bit of pencil. I did not do this whole thing in marker and then come over and do it all over in pencil. I just blended the rough spots and um, blended out the shading there. And it really brought it to life. And it really only took me like half hour, maybe 45 minutes from start to finish. The longest part was outlining these here clouds with a white gel pen. And I skipped a spot so you can see some pink. But um, this was fun. It was enjoyable. It was quick. And I got to tackle one in my Camellia Angelcova. So there you are. So there is my pencil to marker. And again, I will put up the comparison. 
This is Sugar Sweets. This is Deserted Cats 2. I really want another one of his books, but I told myself that I have to work in this one more before I buy another one because I don't want to abandon this one or not touch the other one because I'm trying to color in this one. So, controlling myself. Um, it was my mom's 60th birthday this month. So, here is my happy birthday mom page. So we foster kittens and we have two little orange kittens right now so I thought that was a cute little touch. I drew the balloons in myself with pencils so if you look at the back side everything is done in alcohol marker except for my balloons. <laughs> um, but I used a light board so I just kind of I had a shape of the balloons because I wanted them to be look the same basically. So I drew them on a paper and then I stuck it behind this and put it on my light board and then traced them onto here so they would be the same. So I didn't have too many different size balloons going on. And the rest is just alcohol marker. All these little polka dots I just did in random color um, alcohol marker. The balloon strings again are those crazy art gel pens and you can see where I struggled in a couple spots. They like quit working. Again they did not dry even after going through and doing all these dots and leaving my book open I shut it and I open it and there is still smudge on this side so again I love the glitter effect they have they do their job they're shiny but they are messy and the application is not my favorite but there it is anyway so happy birthday mom and then last but not least we have another Camellia Andrakova because I tackled two this month this is another buddy color, so thank you to her for pushing me to get this book back out. This is 50 Lovely Gnomes. Now, um, most of you know this, but there was a few that were confused when I was talking about this book. This is not part of this miniatures series. This is not 50 Lovely Gnome miniatures. This is just 50 Lovely Gnomes. So she has a few of these books out. I think she has like a mythical one and maybe dragons or unicorns on something and a mermaid. Um, so these are a little different than her miniatures. They are full page picture. So this is copyright 2020, by the way. Um, and here is the page I did. So I based in alcohol marker again, and we went over with pencil. Didn't do a whole lot with the background. The background is just alcohol marker. But as for them and the snails and the flowers, I really love that orange combination with that blue background. It really brings it together purple adds a little darkness. Um, I was going to do a more brownish snail, but I really didn't want brown on this, so he I know he looks like he blends in with the grass, but it happens. So yeah, there is that. One second. Alright, so there are all my completed pages and all my fabulous whips that hopefully will be in a completed pages video at some point in time. Questions, comments, requests, um, if you want to see how I did anything, please let me know. I can totally do that. And I hope to see you in July. Thanks for watching. Bye.